of years had elapsed, a great volcanic convulsion took place, which brought up the propolite, or green stone, forming the mountains now surrounding Mount Davidson. Still one more geological period passed by, when yet another great convulsion rent the propolite country in twain, and brought up the trachytic mountains, rising 2,000 feet above the adjacent valley. So great was the pressure from beneath, at the time the trachyte, which came up in a semi-fluid state, made its appearance, that the whole of the greenstone country became uplifted, and the line of contact between the greenstone and the cyanite, being the plane of least resistance, a great fissure was formed at that point, following the inclination of ancient Mount Davidson at an angle of 45 degrees, which is now known as the Comstock Lode. The greenstone connery, at the same time, became rent open in many other places, forming a number of mineral loads or veins which will be cut before the sutro tunnel reaches the Comstock load. The trachyte connery being the last geological formation and having remained undisturbed since its formation, contains no mineral veins whatever. While we have annexed diagram before us, I will embrace the opportunity of saying a few words in regard to the Sutro Tunnel itself. It starts in at the point A, in Carson Valley, and running in a westerly direction, four miles, will cut the Comstock load at a perpendicular depth of 2,000 feet. In order to expedite the work, we started four shafts, marked number one, number two, number three, and number four, about one mile apart from each other. Shaft number one reached the tunnel level over two years ago and proceeded in each direction. The easterly drift of that shaft met the header of the tunnel and so accurate were the surveys that the variation did not exceed a single feet.